So uh, as a part of the uh, creation of a safe workplace, the safety awareness has become an integral part of the construction job site. Uh, one of the ongoing safety training and awareness uh, exercises is the tailgate or toolbox safety meetings, which are on the site uh, meetings held with all workers and their supervisors in an attempt to reinforce to each individual the many job site hazards that may exist and consequences of unsafe actions for individual workers. So in for these on-site meetings, uh, these meetings are uh, held with all workers and supervisors. So the areas that should be discussed include work practices, uh, tools and equipment and their correct usage, attitudes and or other uh, relative relevant activities. Uh, topics should be current and relate to the tasks and the workers now perform and will perform in the near future. So meetings should also provide individual workers the opportunity to discuss or relay needed safety pre-corrections to all other workers. So other major areas, uh, uh, other major issues should be discussed at these meetings, avoiding unnecessary exchanges and complaints. So the meeting should be led by the supervisors. So the tool gate meeting is intended to increase communication about safety issues so that the future accidents can be prevented. Uh, so as we are talking about the uh, tailgate or toolbox uh, meetings, uh, here is this uh, some kind of form uh, as a sample uh, for uh, tailgate safety meetings. So this is the form uh, which basically is uh, uh, listing the uh, employees who attend the meeting and then you can see that employee name, meeting number, date, and the topics discussed uh, are listed over here. So what topics are discussed. So this is good practice to keep a record of the uh, meetings, tailgate meetings. And, and then this is the uh, safety meeting report form. Uh, so this is the report form. Uh, so previously it was the attendance kind of attendance form. So in this case, in the report form, you will have the heading such as the topic of area for discussion, uh, summary of specific uh, items uh, discussed, uh, conclusion or changes to the job site creation, uh, job site to create safe workplace. Uh, action items, meeting, immediate abatement and remarks or configuration. So this is a report, safety meeting report form. Uh, well, another form for the uh, record keeping category is the uh, employee safety record card. Okay, So this type of card is uh, uh, maintained for each employee and then it includes the information about the employee and uh, whether that employee was uh, involved in some accident or not. So for example here it is mentioned that uh, it is mentioned that the employee safety contacts uh, list the toolbox, talks, job safety analysis, on the job safety training and other uh, safety training. So the employee notes that they have received the training and the uh, date received. So this form is basically keeps the record of the uh, training, uh, safety training which the employee has got. Another form here is the employee safety uh, discussion attendance. 
form okay so uh, this form basically puts some coding okay so for different types of uh, discussion topics and then the employee so which topic was discussed with which employee and like that so and then these codes uh, the, the, for example these codes from one to nine or more can be uh, related with the different safety issues such as the uh, housekeeping using unsafe equipment first aid etc uh, okay now we will talk about the medical and first aid facilities and services so as projects uh, become uh, larger and more complex an emergency services plan must be completed uh, this plan must address how an injury will be treated and if uh, transportation of an injured individual is required how that will occur etc so so there are uh, some requirements uh, from osha uh, uh, it requires that the contractors to meet certain uh, requirements for applying first aid for the availability and the amount of first aid kits and for the amount of uh, supplies in each kit it is important that uh, the specific injuries be treated only by physicians such as eye injuries or removal of foreign objects from the eye so the osha also provides first aid training and certifications uh, first, uh, of uh, trained workers in first aid the first aid courses are available in most uh, communities uh, either through a contractors association or through the uh, red cross okay the uh, protection of ge the general public uh, most construction activities occur where the general public has some form of access to them. So the nature of construction work attracts people of all ages to the job site. Uh, it is contractor's responsibility to make sure the general public is warned of all hazards on the construction site as well as to isolate the site from the casual passerby. Uh, at all times, signs, barricades and public protection devices must be visible and in place. Most urban areas have regulations about sidewalk protection, side walkways and vehicle access into and out of the uh, site. So there are some basic safeguards which are the barriers in the form of fences and gates overhead protection from falling objects uh, signage for example hazard and directional and later on we will see some examples uh, traffic controls security and surveillance and uh, walkway protection and uh, solid walls uh, for prote protection from flying objects so these are some of the uh, examples so for example these are some uh, safety signage so this is one kind of safety signage uh, which saying that uh, endangered species habitat and it says that no unauthorized personnel beyond this point then you have the approved access road okay maximum speed limit and then again no unauthorized personnel beyond side walls so beyond this point mm -hmm. okay now let's talk about the fire protection on the job site so a major as a major loss uh, prevention activity fire prevention uh, and protection rank among one of the top areas in safety control 
so the project uh, superintendent must uh, assess the project for uh, potential fire hazards and uh, scrutinizing uh, areas and activities that can cause fires to reduce properly damage uh, property damage and possible burn injuries to workers so the key to uh, fire uh, protect prevention is early detection or uh, pos potentially uh, early potential of hazardly um, early pot detection of potentially hazardous areas and conditions such as plumbing welding smoking and so on so there are certain elements uh, for uh, fire protection which are the fire uh, extinguishers these extinguishers must be placed in the same approximate uh, place throughout the project area making sure these places are near areas or activities that may be prone to fires and there should be designated smoking and uh, no smoking areas should be part of a fire prevention uh, plan uh, hazardous areas with flammable chemicals should be marked as no smoking area uh, electricity is a major source of fires as is combustible liquid thus both need to be uh, properly handled the correct storage and handling of the combustible liquid should be previewed on a daily basis and then the flame cutting and welding areas are the major causes of the site fires so control of work areas for these activities is uh, necessary flame cutting and welding should be isolated from combustible materials such as lumber uh, also the subcontractor activities must comply at all times with the general contractors fire prevention plans and also uh, must be policed by all the general contractors site management personnel and also during the uh, during some months of the year and with specific types of work that require drying heaters will be used which have the potential to become high fire hazards and so should be checked on a regular basis to ensure their safe operations. So in the next slide, we are going to talk about the uh, substance uh, abuse, which includes three categories, alcoholic beverages, uh, legal drugs and illegal drugs. So substance abuse can be a a significant uh, uh, safety problem for the contractor quite often habitual abuse and being under the influence of illegal drugs and or alcohol is a sickness that requires outside uh, treatment so the elements of uh, substance abuse program include a standard of uh, conduct uh, creation of employee uh, awareness, uh, assistance programs provided. So for, in the, for the standard of conduct addressed, uh, uh, we, we can say that the substance abuse programs should contain uh, one of this element. The first, uh, it define uh, this standard of conduct addressed uh, defines and creates a zero tolerance level for the level of for the use of alcohol and drugs while on the job as well as uh, coming to work uh, coming to work under the influence so when the results of uh, off duty excessive use of alcohol or drugs uh, cause absenteeism tardiness or the inability to perform one's work a zero a zero tolerance uh, level of acceptance also must be enforced and uh, for the second uh, element uh, uh, which is related with the employee awareness of drug and alcohol abuse and uh, it and, and establish a prevention program uh, employee should be required to attend formal sessions that 
discuss the dangerous effects of using